Well, it's some time after the presidential elections of, uh, of this year, 2016. And as you uh, may or may not know, I guess it's unless you're uh, uh, the new president of the United States of North America uh, is uh, Donald J. Trump, uh, which is, actually is actually not a big surprise to me. I think I did a, a video a while ago about uh, how Trump could win. And, and, and then I, I, not that I backtracked, but then right after I did that video, then he started doing some really whack things that were reported, some really whack things were reported. And I said, well, he's trying to really, he's really trying to lose. But it just seems as though pff, that didn't happen. And yep, and where am I? Uh, this is a, this is a jacket, or a jacket, it's a reversible jacket, it's made for me. Well, not made for me, the, the, the guy makes custom made clothes in, in Cape Town. And this actually, this thing here, um, this word here, what's the word? It means weed. <laughs> weed as in marijuana. So that, that basically means that, uh, 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 well, it doesn't mean anything. That's what it means. That's the guy's, that's the guy's uh, brand. Uh, he used that word, the also word for weed. Anyway, um, I don't get off on that because uh, well, what the important thing about that is that, that we uh, was, has, is winning more and more momentum. So sooner or later, I think sooner, it's going to be legalized in the United States of America, which means that it's going to be legalized in a lot of places on the planet. We're talking about medical marijuana as well as just recreational weed. But that's not what we're talking about. Um, it's kind of interesting to me, this whole uh, election thing. Cause, well, I, I gave up, but not gave up, but I just discounted it a long time ago. I didn't, I didn't vote for anybody. I don't want the system, so I'm, I'm, I'm voting against the system. People say, you can't do that because, well, yes, you can. In fact, it, the only thing you're obligated to do, you're obligated, voting is a, is a civil responsibility. That's it. It's a civil responsibility. So my civil responsibility is to vote. But my, um, my responsibility, uh, as far as, as, as as a citizen, is to register to vote. I think we went over this before. I'm, uh, as long as you register to vote, then you're in the game. Whether you want to exercise your choice of, of, of voting, that's something different. And, and, and people have different strategies and different things on that. My main strategy is that I don't believe in the system. I believe in the system to say that I exist, but I don't think the system is right. So I don't want to support the system in any way, in any shape, form, or fashion. So that's my whole thing on, on voting. But I do need to say this. It's kind of interesting because I think what uh, what has happened, and, and people are gonna say this over and over over again, is that basically the the mainstream media wrong, the pundits, everybody wrong, 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 wrong. It's not that they were so wrong; it's that they keep on listening to themselves. They, I'm just it's gotta take a, a, a bit here. A, a long time ago, this is in the '60s. There was a thing that happened where what happened was that. Uh, they made a decision, the, the, this is when they only had three channels like CBS, ABC and, and uh, NBC as the main TV stations. And they made a decision, I think this was around Nixon's time, uh, that or maybe a little bit before, maybe even Johnson's time, what they said that no matter what, the first 15 minutes of news, uh, it, it's somewhere in that block there was always to be given over to the president. To, you know, whatever the president said, he has that clear, clear shot. At the same time, what was happening is that a lot of these um, newscasters, they were like playing tennis with the president, you know, they were, they were hanging out with the president, hanging out with that, that, that circle of, of really famous and, and, well, politically famous uh, people. And so they got to a point where then they started getting raises or, or getting a lot of money for what they were doing. And so these folks, and, you know, then, then you have these people that's under them that they were also going on. So they have this whole culture of like they're talking to each other. They're not talking to regular people. I mean, I saw a YouTube thing where this guy did something about um, talking about voting, whatever. He went to San Francisco and then to New York and then compared it to, well, there's no comparison there. What this, really, this whole election really was about was the fact that people all, all over the world, they don't feel like they're being listened to and definitely not heard. They're not listened to or heard. But politicians come down and talk down to you, blah, blah, blah. They might have some sort of luncheon with you and they're, they're smiling, whatever happened. But they're not listening to anything you're saying. They, it's too much for them, I guess. So 
I think this is just a, a, not a revenge, but this is a, a, a salvo basically saying, you didn't listen to us. And so you get what you get. And this is, this is across the board. Now the Democratic Party didn't listen to Bernie Sanders, that's why they lost. The Republican Party didn't want to listen to Trump, but Trump is Trump. And you know, I guess he just, just, just quit, wouldn't back down. And one thing I do know about Americans, they don't like to back down. Even when they're wrong, they don't care. And, and so say what you will, but Donald Trump is a quintessential gangster American. <laughs> all that is. So let's see what happens when he deals with the world stage and whatever have you. Uh, one thing, I think one of the things, reasons why I just couldn't vote for, for, for Hillary, and that's why I couldn't vote for Trump just because I couldn't vote for Trump, but is that she was just so, we were going into war no matter what. She was just, she just loved war. Hopefully Donald Trump won't love war much and he'll, he'll be more business than war and that's the way it should be, I think. I did meet T from the Patterson State Nation to Tibet, letting you know what I almost suspect.